with the localised lockdowns in Greater Manchester already and nearby Lancashire and Merseyside were following suit. Then came the Prime Minister's address to the nation. Not good. Heads were down. Hopes had faded. The community was in tatters. What was that for us to dream about? It was at this moment when I realised the country needed real leadership. So I put my thinking cap on. We may not be able to have bonfires on beaches, and we may all need to be in bed by ten. Well, at least out of the pubs. But an injection of creative spirit can lift those heads. Yes, government may have forgotten theatre, but theatre, that beating heart, hadn't forgotten anyone. It was time for us to stand up and be counted. In our households, or groups of six. And it's time for me to make some calls. First up was Algernon Garrick. Yes, they'd love to host a COVID secure and week of shows. Next, I'd get hold of the North West End Live team. Mark agreed to put pen to paper. Paul said he'd get the band back together. And Max promised to produce the whole thing. So, with a little fanfare, Yaz put the razzmatazz back into showbiz and Arty Fringe 2020 was born. With inspiration, modesty permits, and a lot of perspiration from our creative speak team, we're going to bring you some amazing entertainment. And don't forget to dream. Things can only get better. <laughs>